Since Tuesday evening, 38 MPs have resigned over Johnson's refusal to back down as Prime Minister following the latest public outcry over Chris Pincher. Piers Morgan launched a bizarre rant as he clutched a piglet on his talk TV show, Uncensored, on Wednesday evening. Describing Johnson as a piglet running out of Greece, he passionately called for him to resign. The 57-year-old broadcaster opened the show a bit differently, with the animal in his arms. Good evening, on Piers Morgan, uncensored tonight, Boris Johnson must go, he said. The greased piglet of politics has slipped and squirmed through almost three disastrous years of disorder and deceit. As the pig appeared relatively at ease, the journalist continued, 38 resignations in two days have butchered his government ad tonight, surely, nothing can now save his bacon. The small animal casually rested in Piers' arms as he blinked at the camera before the titles rolled. Later, the pig had gone as Piers addressed Johnson directly, stating, Tonight you lie in your Downing Street sty, refusing to go, behaving like the very greasy piglet the Daily Mail put on its front page last night. He added, This little piglet may be finally running out of Greece, continuing, Let's face it, Boris, you're a zombie prime minister staggering on as the rotting leader of this dead government. The British people have had enough and it's their agonising moments tonight that should really cut through to you. Political editor Kate McCann talked to the broadcaster about the latest in Parliament as he continued his tirade against Johnson. Piers told Kate, I mean look, the bottom line is, H.E.S. gone. H is toast. H is kicking up the daisies, H.E.S. an ex-prime minister, he just H.A.S.N.T. got the memo yet. What is he waiting for? I don't get it, it's so humiliating. Is he literally waiting for someone to drag him out? Kate replied that Johnson seems to be enjoying the chaos. She added, there is a realisation even among the Prime Minister's allies that if he intends to stick it out and if he comes out defiantly and says, no way am I leaving office, that could trigger another range of resignations from top cabinet level jobs. If he gets to the point, it's really difficult to see how he continues.